Good morning guys, welcome back to vlog week day two. Um, I just woke up, I think it's like 8 a.m. I ended up just cleaning the entire kitchen. The dogs just got back in from going outside. Just realized this cup is still out. I'm about to feed them breakfast. Guys, Fitz has gotten so big. Like, I don't even think he wearing yesterday's vlog. Let me show them. Look at how big he is, guys. Like, I cannot believe how big he's already gotten. Hi, Coco. She's just smiling. Oh my gosh, hi Coco, I love you. Anyways, today's vlog, I'm going to kind of go in more detail on like what I eat in a day and like my fitness routine. I normally run on Fridays. Okay, Fitz. So great, seriously. Let's go feed them really quick. Okay, Harley, I mean not Harley Cooper. Fitz, Coco. Fitz, oh my gosh, why do you insist on going to Coco stuff? Eat your own. So the dog's are eating in the background. But I'm gonna show you guys what I eat today and a little bit more about my fitness routine. Normally on Friday, because I do Pilates at noon, I'll do, um, like, I'll run and I'll do Pilates, but I'm actually just gonna go on, like, a long walk today and then do Pilates. But we're gonna go more into that later. Making my lemon water now, that's something I'm really trying to get back into as of today. Here's my mug. These are from William Sonoma. They're the best mugs ever. You can probably get, like, a good dupe on Amazon, though, so I'll link those down below. Anyways, I'm going to start off my day with just some lemon water and then some, like, coconut yogurt fruit concoction. For breakfast, I just have some yogurt with mango, cinnamon, and then some honey. Normally, I'll put, like, chia seeds in or something, but I just didn't today. And then I just have some hot lemon water. I used to drink hot lemon water as soon as I woke up every day last summer, and it was the best thing ever. So I'm gonna get back to that, um, but this is like my favorite thing. And then normally I'll go like work out or whatever, and then I have like a little bit of a bigger breakfast slash brunch after. But this is what I'm having right now. Guys, I'm reading right now, but like there's a rainbow. It's so cool. Guys, I've been reading a lot. Oh, they do. You're just like <laughs> on the Keurig, don't, don't worry. I'm the Celsius instead of making coffee this morning. I'm really tired, but when I wake up and I read, obviously it's just like relaxing and I've been reading for, what is it? It's almost like 9.50. Okay, so at noon I have an IG Live with Daylight, which is a Pilates class. So we're doing that at noon. So at like 10.45 or something, 11 i'm gonna go on like an hour long walk and take coco because fitz does not understand walk still as far as fitness goes i work out probably at least like five days a week and i pretty much always move so if i'm not like doing an actual workout i will go and um like take a longer walk or whatever that might be which i walk pretty much every day anyways just because i have dogs so normally my schedule is a little bit off because i was gone but normally monday wednesday friday i run and i've been using the couch to 5k app so that app basically gives you an individual plan for um, your running to get you up to three miles. So I'm on, I think I'm on week seven now. Yeah, when I start back. So I have like six more runs and then I've completed it. Wow, I can't believe I've done it. Eight, I've done 18 runs already, guys. Um, but then I'll be up at three miles. And then after that, I kind of want to do like lists or something. I think I'm going to run two days a week, do lists three days a week. And then, which is like a low interval thing, I've been seeing a lot on Instagram. And then I do a lot of like Pilates style stuff. So I normally do one class, obviously this is all virtually. One class a week with Daylight. Also here's the Celsius packet. These are, this one's really good. It's the um, cranberry something, cranberry lemon. It's Q's favorite, that's why I have all these. They're really his. You can only get this one on Amazon though, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Here we go. And then I would normally do like a Melissa Wood health workout like once a day. Um, I was doing like other workouts that were like hit workouts and stuff that on YouTube that I just really don't like. Like if it's a YouTube video, I don't like it, but I can like do it if I'm just like at the gym or with people. I don't know. I'm like picky when it comes to that. I found that the thing that works best for me has just been running and then doing Pilates. So I'll do Melissa Wood Health, I'll do like hot Pilates online, I mainly do Melissa Wood Health, which is a like $10 subscription, I think you pay 10 bucks a month, and then you have access to all of her workouts, and like, she's the best, she's so calming, relaxing, like, oh, it's just so good, it puts you in the best mood. I will pretty much do a Melissa Wood Health workout like every day, just because I really, really love them. It really changes, that's pretty much my fitness routine. Today, 
long walk and a Pilates class with Daylight, which I'm really excited for. Also, all the Pilates classes with Daylight are on my Instagram TV if you guys want to go work out with us. We're doing a live at noon. We normally do lives on Fridays. Here's my Celsius. Guys, look how much stuff I have on top of my fridge. Not happy about that. Anyways, this stuff is so good and it actually gives me so much energy and I love drinking Celsius before I work out. All right, guys, trying out this Trader Joe's sunscreen that I just don't trust. I'm going to take the dogs on a walk. I really need to like self tan, but it's just like, it's a little bit rough right now, guys. Not gonna lie. Come on, pups. Who's ready? Who's ready? Fitz, I cannot believe how big you've gotten. I was looking at pictures from the first day we got him, guys, and he has grown so much. Hey, come back. And it's been like not even two weeks yet. We're off on our walk, guys. I'm back from the walk. It is so hot outside, guys. I cannot even describe it. Um, but the IG Live is happening pretty soon. Probably just going to get some work done or I don't even know guys like gonna be real um, I got a text today that has like not the best news So I'm trying to not freak out and have a good day so All right guys, it is now 1130. I have my Pilates class soon. I made some avocado toast on gluten-free bread Sorry, the morning toast is on in the background Everything with the bagel seasoning and then this Trader Joe's glaze. It's so good when you put it on avocado toast. All right, guys. So on the morning toast, they just said that I wasn't really listening because I was cooking, but there's a new Epstein documentary coming out on Sunday. It's a four-hour special, and I believe it's from The Victims. Um, so I'm really looking forward to watching that. If you guys have not looked into the Epstein stuff and watched the stuff on Netflix, it is absolutely insane. And I do not know how this stuff happens. Like, it's just literally so heartbreaking and absolutely insane so anyways i'm gonna eat my avocado toast and um get back to watching the morning toast oh, that was so good i just made i went back after i put everything away and made another because it was just incredible all right i have my mat i just realized i forgot my weights but i don't feel like going outside again it's fine though like if you want to follow along with the workout on instagram she Dela just said five minutes okay then you guys don't need weights. Um, I just have like ball up angles, so that's why I was using those, but I just don't feel like going downstairs. I finished the workout. I feel so good. It was so hard. It was literally just a 30 minute workout and it was really difficult. Um, the music is getting like hit and the IG live keeps getting taken down from IGTV. So I'm gonna edit the IGTV and then pitch it and post it and hopefully it still works. If not, I already have another live that's been posted to my page with Daylight. So if you guys wanna go watch that, um, and the one we did today should be up too, but it's like a really hard workout for 30 minutes. Also, it's supporting a black owned business if you guys are able to just kind of Venmo or donate to Daylight's business. We also have done a few of these like Zoom classes that you sign up for and it's like $10, which ends up just being a donation. I don't know what is on my floor, guys. I have water damage in my house right now. Not ideal. Um, anyways, it ends up being a donation to some sort of organization, whether it be like Bianca Taylor or George Floyd or like a black owned business or, you know, whatever we decide that week. So if you guys ever want to be a part of that, just follow me on Instagram because I normally am sharing it like real time and I normally share it within like a few days of it happening and it's super fun. It's a really great time. Honestly, like my Zoom Pilates classes with Daylight have been like the highlight of my quarantine. So we're definitely down to do more of those if you guys just, why isn't this light working? If you guys just let us know. So it is now like 3 p.m. Um, I showered, I self-tanned, I was trying to relax, and then Quinta came over unannounced and said that we're going to get lunch, which I was gonna cook lunch. So I'm very really confused. Play. We had a meeting set for two, so I'm not sure what she means by You pushed our meeting back late. Yeah, but we agreed it was at two. So she says unannounced. It's yeah, because I left barging. my phone at my place. So technically I didn't text here. Okay, so anyways, um, we're waiting for a Chick-fil-A right now. This guy's about to give it to us. Hold on. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so on the road trip, I found the best salad at Chick-fil-A. It's the market salad, and then you get it with the zesty apple cider vinaigrette. Right, yeah. Um, anyways, it's really good. I actually am a huge fan of the salad, and then I got lemonade. So, you know, it's all about balance, people. I'm, Wait, did they give me straws? No. Anyways, I'm really tired and I'm not having the best day. So, we got Chick-fil-A. 
and then we're gonna go home and have a meeting. Honestly, I am really impressed by this salad though. I actually used to make fun of my friends for getting salads at Chick-fil-A because I was like, if you're going to Chick-fil-A, just go all out. But then I started going to Chick-fil-A like so much and I was like, you know, I actually am craving a salad. So not to say, I'm sure this is probably still really bad for you somehow because I feel like most fast food, um, most fast food salads are. Do you have? Braved the Texas heat. For these straws. Maybe I need to get a coffee. I haven't actually had coffee today. That would make sense as to why I'm so tired. Didn't you this morning? No, I have hot lemon water. If I close my eyes, this is sweet green. Oh my gosh. Just, she does love the Hollywood Bowl. Just kidding though, this salad's actually really good. All right guys, it's 4 p.m. and what do you know? I have my energy back. It's literally, first off, my hair looks crazy. It was just laying on the couch, but it is literally between the hours of one and three. I am worthless, good for nothing, can't do anything. Then it hits around 4 p.m. and I'm just back. So part of me wants to like get out of this, but then the other part of me just wants to like use it to my advantage, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee still, just in case, you know? It's not like Keurig coffee really does much for me anyways. Guys, I can knock it over how old fit, or old, how big Fitz has gotten. It's crazy, like we've had him for less than two weeks and he's grown. So much. Fitz! Focus upstairs right now, but Fitz, oh my gosh. I cannot believe how big you've gotten. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Isn't it so crazy? Togo was hanging out with me all afternoon. Fitz had some me time. He needed some time by himself. Um, he still doesn't understand the concept of walks. It's really been difficult. So Coco and I went on a nice walk together today. Um, I basically just take him out and then well, I took both of them out to like go to the bathroom and then I bring him back inside and then I take care on walks because he just doesn't get it. He truly doesn't get it. He doesn't want to go. He just sits there, tries to sleep on the grass. Just a lot. Here we go. I'm making Q come to my meeting, guys. I even got new stuff and everything. Update on my brown Bible. Um, it's not what I would have chosen, but I actually really like it. So I'll link it down below if any of you guys are interested. But I just got new, this is how you know you're serious about stuff, guys. You get new office supplies. Like how exciting. We should be at my desk, but it's just really hot up there, honestly. So we're just gonna sit down here. Coco's just hard at work with us, guys. Look at her. <laughs> oh my gosh, Coco, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. She just wants to see what's going on. So much for working. I just woke her up because I accidentally moved, but she was snoring, so. Big working gal, huh? Um, also guys, I have been looking at new fridges. Who will be so excited when I get a new counter depth fridge? I'm now making dinner. I'm gonna make one of my old go-to dinners. I made it last night and it was so good. Um, this is only the reseller. Bless you. Sorry. But um, Melissa would- Wait. Bless you. Really, it comes from Melissa Wood Health. So, um, we have the brown rice, the spicy, not <laughs> spicy fusilli, no. I'm gonna saute broccoli and kale, and okay, this is the secret ingredient that makes the world go round. This Trader Joe's seasoning, I'm sure so many of you guys, I don't know why it's not focusing, so many of you guys have probably seen it because it's pretty popular on YouTube now, but it is so freaking good. Um, I've been using this now for like a year and I've probably purchased like, I mean at one point I had like five on my pantry and Quinta was annoying. Like at least probably, how many do you think of these I've bought? Like 20? <coughs> Bless you. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to saute some stuff. I'm actually using this pan. I use my Our Place Always pan for pretty much every single thing that I cook. But I thought that I would bring this one out and just change things up, you know? Guys, I actually just ran out of this. Thank God I had another just waiting for me, okay? To each their own, but at least for me and what I do and what I want to eat. Dinner's ready. This is like my favorite dinner. So easy, sauteed broccoli and kale, and then just brown rice pasta with my favorite sauce. I made this in yesterday's vlog too, but it is what I'm eating today. So I kind of had to share. Also, I just like cannot believe how big he is now. It's seven, I just walked the dogs again. Um, I, guys, 
my bug bites are absolutely out of control. Anyways, um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about like dog training and stuff and I would not say I'm the best at this. Um, I definitely did not like Coconut is not the most trained dog at all because she's so little and like she's not awful like by any means but because she's so little and really doesn't cause problems it just hasn't really caused an issue but then when we got fits so i was like okay we're crate training and like you know doing the whole thing so we're doing with coco and she's doing totally fine of course she's an angel she's perfect um so anyways i'm like not a pro at this but a lot of you guys have been asking questions so if you guys want me to do something about how we've been training like i just wouldn't even know like what do you guys want so it is Friday night, guys. It is you and me. I haven't had a night to myself to just read for hours on end in so long. So I need to go upstairs and get this vlog edited. The past few months, you guys know, my favorite thing to do was to order a smoothie from DoorDash, link below, $15 credit, and read my book in bed from 7 p.m. to like midnight. Like that was such an incredible vibe because I can just see the sunset out my windows or out my doors, I guess. And Oh wow, so incredible. 7 p.m. on a Friday night. I'm about, why? Well, change it to pajamas. I'm about to start editing this vlog and then I'm gonna read after. This is like my, oh look, this isn't even plugged in, but this is honestly like my perfect just night to myself. All right guys, just took the dogs out again. Finished editing the vlog up until now and I'm about to get in bed. Oh guys, I also did DoorDash. Smoothie King, the angel, I'm just gonna change this name to angel hair officially. The angel food, I almost said angel food pasta, podcast. What am I saying guys? It's not even, it's like 8 p.m. right now. Anyways, this is my favorite smoothie. I just don't know why I'm so obsessed with Smoothie King guys. It's like not cute or trendy, but you know, what is what it is. Have some candles burning. And then I'm going to read for the rest of the night. Guys, it just, oh, guys, it just feels so good in here. I am finishing Night Road tonight. I started this book like a week or two ago and I normally read like two or three books a week. Granted, like I was on a road trip and I've just been busy, but still. Update on the book. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like if I read it when I was in a different kind of mood and like more of a mood to read it, it would be one of my favorite books, but if you guys are readers, you'll understand what I'm saying, but sometimes you just like can't even think about like reading a thriller and then you read a romance and then sometimes you can't think about reading a romance and you need to read a thriller, whatever that might be. So I got this book knowing I wasn't in the mood to read it, but I have this curse where I have to finish every book I start. So I really do like it. I wouldn't say it's a page turner. It's definitely like, did I say Night Road? I mean 19 minutes. I just realized I said Night Road. I did read that. That was good. Um, 19 minutes. It's definitely a really good book. It's a heavy read. So maybe that's part of it too. Like, But I feel like it's definitely one of those books that I always remember and always think about. So anyways, I'm going to finish it tonight. It's also really long. Anyways, no one cares. Just giving guys my book rack. Um, I've been posting book reviews on TikTok. You know, I found my niche. Anyways, love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here. And I'll talk to you guys soon.